Let's take a look at some of the new graphics and animations available in Wonderware's 2014 system platform release. Many of these new graphics are a result of developing the Situational Awareness Library. You can learn more about this in our other videos. Situational Awareness is basically about providing more efficient HMI screens so that an operator can react more quickly when something goes wrong. The first new graphic we'll look at is the Polar Star. Here's one on the left of our screen. This is available out of the box from the Situational Awareness Library, and there are several versions. Each version has a different number of spokes. This one has three. On every spoke, we can represent a different process value. The Polar Star works best when each value has similar conditions. Here we're looking at three temperatures. Each has the same range and has an operating set point around 60 degrees. The Polar Star symbol itself doesn't show us any values. Instead, the idea is that we can recognize whether the shape looks correct. As I start to manipulate the values using these sliders, you'll notice that my bold line changes and my shape becomes distorted. The idea in high performance HMI is that it's easier at a glance for an operator to recognize whether the shape is as it should be and things are okay, or whether something's distorted and things are not okay. In the case of a three point polar star like this one, the correct shape is an equilateral triangle. The bold line shows us the current process value. These lines are indicating the set point. The set point is a feature that can be turned off. It's optional. And there are several other options available with the Polar Star, as with many of the Situational Awareness Library graphics. The center triangle is a reference in case the set point is turned off to let you know what the shape should look like. Before Situational Awareness and High Performance HMI, all three of these temperatures might be on three different screens. But here we have one graphic that an operator can glance at and quickly determine if he needs to look into something further. The Polar Star uses a new animation called Point Animation. Here's a demo of this on the right side of the screen. Point Animation allows us to manipulate at runtime and dynamically change the shape of any polygon. Here I have a four point polygon and I've animated two of the points to respond when I change the slider value. This could also be connected to a process value. The Polar Star already has this functionality embedded out of the box, but you can also add this animation to many of the shapes and drawings available in the Orchestra IDE in 2014. Another graphic enhancement in the System Platform 2014 is the availability of Sweep Angle. Sweep Angle applies to many circular shapes, arcs, chords, and pies. The Sweep Angle parameter is now available and visible so it can be used in scripts and connected to various animations and other graphics. Here I've used sweep angle in an action script so that I change the sweep angle as I click left or right. In this example, I've connected the sweep angle of this circle to the slider. This way, the angle dynamically changes at runtime. One of the reasons the sweep angle became available in the 2014 release was again building the situational awareness library. Here's an example of an RPM meter from the situational awareness library. As with many of the situational awareness graphics, there are options that can be turned on and off. Here I've added an optimal range and a high alarm limit. The sweep angle animation is used so that the cursor follows along the edge of the arc. This could be tied to your process value. Another cool graphic that uses sweep angle is a dynamic pie chart. In the corner, we have an example of looking at a kitchen mixer process. And let's say we're gonna mix some ingredients. Currently, we have a little bit of flour, so it makes up 100% of our pie. But as I add eggs or oil, my pie chart dynamically displays in real time to show me my new percentages in the mixer. This could be applied to any of your process recipes or perhaps as a dashboard to indicate different performance among production lines. Again, the pie chart is available in the Situational Awareness Library, and it uses the new sweep angle feature. Next, we'll look at a feature called Trend Pin. Trend Pin is a great way to add a trend to any of your symbols. It's very lightweight, so that you can put several of these on one graphic and not affect the performance. Another thing that's great about Trend Pin is that as an application server or system platform user, you don't have to do very much configuration to make it work. TrendPin shows you the last five minutes of data by default. All you have to know is what the process value that you want to look at is. The TrendPin will then automatically 
talk to the historian for any analog value and ask if it knows any history of that process value. And then it will display it. Five minutes is the default, but you can configure different time periods. Here's an example of putting two trend pins on top of each other. They show my reactor level and my reactor temperature. If you were to configure a trend pin with a process value that didn't have any history in the historian, it would simply display as a real-time trend. As I said, you could put a trend pin on many different symbols. On the right, we have an example of adding it to a meter. This meter is from the Situational Awareness Library. Now as an operator, in addition to seeing the current value, I can see where I've been in the last five minutes. This is often called a trend tail and becomes very useful for situational awareness so that you know not only where you are now, but where you're headed and where you've been. There are also several parameters available for scripting and enhancements in the trend pin. In the bottom of this screen, I've added a background and a grid to the trend pin, as well as displayed the start time and end time and the minimum and maximum from the trend pin. This display was made using the new symbol wizard options. Learn more about those in our other videos. If you're interested in exploring these new graphics and animations in the 2014 release, here's how to get started. The Situational Awareness Library is available in the 2014 release. In the Polar Star folder, you'll find many versions of the Polar Star we looked at earlier, including the 3 point star. There's also 4, 6, and 8 points available. Users can also duplicate these and modify them as needed. The meters folder contains the RPM meter using the sweep angle that we looked at. And the dashboard tools folder contains the pie chart. These already use some of the new animations, but if you're interested in adding animations to your own symbols, here's where you can look. The trend pin animation can be found here in the Orchestra Canvas or Symbol Editor. You'll also find several new animations in this drop-down box. This is the same animation that's used in Polar Stars and would distort any of the points at runtime. There are also a couple of new animations in 2014, one for element style and one for alarm border. You can learn more about these in our other videos. We hope you'll check out these and many of the other new features of the 2014 system platform release.